Hello ladies and gentlemen, Cincinnati Spotter 210 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you um, an update for the West Rocky Mountain International Airport for the month of April 2021. Uh, this time frame for the update is going to be around, around 6.30 to 7-ish in the evening, and uh... The weather outside is looking crappy today, so the weather for today's update is going to pretty much follow that. It's going to be uh, kind of dreary, and uh, some heavy storms did roll through earlier, so there is um, some extra evening traffic we wouldn't have seen on a typical evening. But uh, without any further talking, let's get right into the update. To start off the update, we have this Delta Connection CRJ-200 operated by SkyWest. This aircraft uh, arrived in about an hour or so ago from uh, Salt Lake City and it will be departing off to Santa Fe, New Mexico today. Waiting behind the CRJ-200 holding short of runway 25, we have this Colorado State Patrol Cessna 172. This aircraft will be departing up to Rifle, Colorado today to do some patrolling up there. On the pushback, we have the CRJ-900 of Air Canada Express operated by Jazz Aviation. This will be uh, flying the evening route to Vancouver today where it also arrived in from Vancouver. Moving on to this Allegiant Airbus A320. It's just getting final bags on board and final passengers on board. This aircraft will be departing off to Shasta County Airport, or my bad, Shasta County Airport in California, or 2384 Aviations Airport. This aircraft, before that, arrived in on one of the new routes from Oklahoma City. On the pushback here, we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900. This aircraft arrived in from Atlanta today, and this aircraft will be going off to Austin, Texas today, one of the new seasonal routes brought to, uh, by Delta to GMR. And just beginning early preparations uh, for the departure, this aircraft is getting fuel and catering on board. This Delta Boeing 767-300 wearing the old livery and without winglets, we'll just pretend it's in the new livery and with winglets for now, but uh, this aircraft is flying the Atlanta rotation today. This arrived in from Atlanta and uh, this will be departing to Atlanta. Uh, Delta sends the 767s on the Atlanta rotation to, uh, to GMR, both in and out of ski season, but uh, yeah, so 737-900 and the 767 will be swapping back and forth with the Atlanta rotation, uh, depending on the capacity that is needed for the route. Moving on over to the signature FBO, we have the C-130 Hercules of the Montana Air National Guard. This uh, arrived in from Billings, Montana. And that's where it will most likely be heading back off to. However, it is unsure where the exact departure will be with it being a military aircraft. We have, we have two local aircraft back there. But uh, moving over to uh, the other side of the FBO, we have this De Havilland Beaver. This arrived in from uh, Denver Front Range Airport. And this will be departing off to Reno, Nevada later today. Just pulling out of the signature FBO, we have this private Airbus A320 of Newman's Hill Corporation. This aircraft is uh, has just been resting at the airport for a few days, but uh, currently it will be taking a departure off to uh, Cancun, Mexico. Moving over to the overflow, it's mainly dominated by the local airline, Patriot Air. They've got three of their Basler BT-67s back in the back just resting because it is a Saturday. They are not flying today. But uh, here we have this uh, Patriot Air MD-80. Uh, uh, the Patriot Air has just recently announced that Patri uh, they will be retiring their MD-80 uh, 
Yeah, their pair of MD-80 aircraft and their Airbus A310 in June. So uh, we'll just have to enjoy these beauties while we have them. Unfortunately, they won't be sticking around too much longer. Uh, but this aircraft actually arrived in from Lincoln, Nebraska. And it has no scheduled departure at the moment. Pulling off of the runway, we have this other Patriot Air aircraft, this BT-67 registered November 210 Papa Alpha. This aircraft is known as Flagship Patriot, and it arrived in from um, Bozeman, Montana. And it has no scheduled departure as this is the aircraft's last flight of the day. As per normal, there's not very much activity at all on the Grooms Air National Guard base ramp, but it's still worth taking a look at. You've got the local F-16s and S-3 Viking uh, water bombers on the ramp. Two of the water bombers are missing. They uh, departed to uh, Denver uh, Buckley Air Force Base uh, for uh, just training flights, and they should be back later tonight. But uh, yeah, the two uh, other S-3s are just chilling on the ramp. And uh, yeah, not too much to cover there. Let's move on to the cargo ramp. You may recognize this from the last update, but we've got the unidentified Airbus E321. There still is no information on this aircraft as uh, it's just currently being stored at the airport. It has not been claimed by an owner. Uh, no word on what's going to happen to the aircraft. But uh, I assume it'll just be sitting here for the near future. And this is one of the delayed uh, departures due to the weather that rolled through earlier. But here we have this DHL Airbus A330-200 freighter. This arrived in from Leipzig, Germany, which is where it will be departing to once the final cargo is loaded on the aircraft. And for the final aircraft of the update, we have this Boeing 757-200 freighter of UPS Airlines. This flew the Louisville STF rotation today and is uh, right now just resting before its flight back to Louisville within the next three hours. As always, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I believe my last upload was exactly a month ago. But, uh, <laughs> uh yeah life has been getting in the way schools wrapping up or beginning to wrap up so hopefully when uh, summer comes around i'll be able to get out to the airport maybe record some new spotting videos or other aviation related content for you guys um but for now uh as always like i said thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and of course i will see you all in the next video goodbye You don't understand him, and he don't die young, he'll probably just ride away.